and welcome to Blissful Study. So from today I am going to start my PWAITS2 test preparation and this is the planner for the test. I have made this for the first test as well but I felt it was little incomplete so I made it again like this and, and yes I thought I will score 180 out of 180 in zoology but my score was 166 but never mind I'll try this time. So for the change, I have also written the number of lectures and the number of DVPs in the respective chapters and I have also divided my whole week according to it so that I will be aware of how many lectures or DVP I have revised and how many are left to do so. And it's 10.25 right now and we should start studying. So in the botany there is plant kingdom, biological classification and morphology and these chapters are considered among the most difficult chapters of botany. But if we study these chapters in small small portions it will be easier for us to tackle these chapters as we have to just focus on that small portion in that particular time. So I am going to study about the roots and the stem from the notes as well as from the NCRT. Last week that is till 4th February I haven't started my preparation of NITS 2 because I used my last week for completing all my current lectures as well as all the lectures that I had missed a week before that because of AITS 1 and after this test also we are going to get 2 weeks for the next AITS that is AITS 3 so in that also I am going to use the first week for completing the current topic as in this week I am going to only revise for the AITS 2 and will definitely miss the current lectures so I am going to complete it in that week and I am doing this because only till AITS 4 we are going to have 2 weeks gap and from AITS 5 12th portion will be started and which is our current portion right now in the batch and if we miss this current lectures we are going to definitely score very less after AITS 5 and I don't want that so to prevent that I am doing this. So I am back after taking a bath and now it's 12.35 so let's go back to studies. But before that setting a timer is very important so here it is. So let's start. And now we should start studying. So I am watching the first lecture of hydrocarbons and it was such a huge lecture of about two and a half hours. I also had my lunch in between which was made by my mom and she made absolutely delicious food. I think you should also try it once if possible. And then it was finally completed. So it's 4.30 right now and I have completed the lecture and it's about 3 hours 14 minutes of study done. And this is the to-do list so let's mark what I have done. Okay, so after botany and chemistry let's move to zoology. It's the locomotion and movement chapter and this is how my NCRT looks like and the most interesting thing is present on the back side. So this is what I was talking about. I have stayed an image of human skeletal system in which I have marked all the joints because I usually forget which joint is present at which location. So by seeing just this one image I can learn, remember and recall it very quickly. So if you want you can also do it the same way. After revising from the NCRT now I am going to give a test. It's actually a speed test of about 50 questions and has a duration of 1 hour. So it's 6.25 and from 6.30 I am going to give the test so all the best to me. So the test is divided into section A and section B and you don't have to carry any extra OMR sheet because it's already present in the end of every page. It's the NTA NEET 101 speed test book by Disha Publications. 
It has chapter-wise test series for physics, chemistry, and biology, and also three subject-wide tests are present, as well as full syllabus test is also present, and also ten online tests is also available by scanning the QR code. It's almost seven five right now, and I have completed the test. So it took me around thirty five minutes to complete this. So it's time to check the test. So let's do it. It's a collection of around five thousand questions with detailed solution, and this book will definitely help you in improving your speed and strike rate in attempting actual question paper. And it's very much helpful in our last three months preparation of NEET. Questions and solution are present in the back side of the book, and if you also want to purchase it, the link is given in the description box. So do check it. So it's seven twenty right now, and I'm going to do the physics collision chapter with the notes and along with the class note PDF because I want to solve the questions that were solved during the lecture. In spite of making somebody knows class knows, I'm then also reading this PDF because in in physics I feel like there are few concepts, but on even a single formula they can make a huge variations of questions. So there are few concepts and. Varied amount of questions, but this is not same in chemistry. In chemistry, there are lot of concepts, and on that concepts, there are very standard questions asked. So by reading this PDF, I will also be able to recall how to use a single formula for solving different kinds of various questions. So tell me what is your thought on this? Am I doing it correct or not? Do mention your thoughts in the comment box, or even if you have any other suggestions for me. And also, I have received one parcel from Amazon. Can you guess what is it? So it's a laptop holder. By keeping the laptop straight on the desk, it was getting too much warm. It was also affecting its battery, so I ordered this. So now let's start studying the physics. So it's 9:15 right now. Until now, I've completed the lecture number one. The lecture number two is still remaining, but now I'm going to have my dinner because I'm feeling little hungry. And after that, I'll complete what's left. I was back from my dinner at 10:15, and by the time I complete the physics, it was 11:30. After completing physics, now I'm going to study about leaf and flower from the morphology chapter. And by the time I completed its notes and the NCERT, it was 12:30. So I decided to finish off the day right now and go to sleep. So in botany, we have completed morphology, root, stem, leaf, and flower. In chemistry, hydrocarbons, lecture number one. Physics collision chapter with its notes and question practice. In zoology locomotion chapter with its NCERT and question practice. So center of mass and morphology question practice is remaining. But in morphology I want to do the previous year questions, so I'm waiting till the whole chapter gets completely revised. So everything is completed now, and I wish everyone all the best for the AITS two. And I hope we'll meet soon in the next study vlog. So till then, stay connected to Blissful Study. Bye.